This week I went to Davenport Beach and I did two very, very small plein air studies. The smallest I've ever painted before. Well, that's not entirely true. I wanted to share what I use to carry my wet panels when I'm out in the field and how I like take them back to my studio safely. So this one I had had purchased and I don't love it so I ended up making my own. So I have one that's, this is for four by six inch paintings. And then I made this one, which is my typical plein air painting size so far, which is 11 by 14. So I'm gonna talk about how I made these. But first I'll share, this is still really wet. This is the first one, ooh glare. This is the first one I did and I'm gonna do another day on it. It's not really getting the, the colors well that are in the painting it looks like on the, the phone. Um, anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna do another day on it. It was very cloudy and moody. I love that in painting but I, I like the idea of where this is going, so I'm just gonna do another layer over it and make it more interesting. Also, I don't know if you can see, there is sand stuck all over this painting. So I did this one first, and then when I put this in my panel carrier, um, sand blew onto it at the beach, which is frustrating, but it's fine. Once it dries, I will wipe it off and if any of them don't come off, I'm going to be painting over it anyway, so it'll be fine. Um, so I have an idea to have that not happen again. And then I did this guy. Still is a bit more colorful and so it's showing up on my phone screen. But yeah, so the sun came out then in the afternoon and the ocean looked completely different. So that was another fun painting and I did this one like super quick. And I'm gonna take this to the, to the same spot again too. I don't think I'm gonna to touch this one again, but who knows, maybe I'll be inspired to do more with this one. We'll see. With plein air painting, I'm still learning what I like to take out there <laughs> and different materials to use. So when I first started, I would just carry the painting back and they, usually the edges would get messed up. Um, as I would like be holding them and also getting to the spots too. Sometimes it's a bit of a hike to get to. So that would also, as I'm holding a painting and like hiking up and downhill, that would get kind of um, challenging at times. So I decided to get a panel carrier. So this is the first one that I got, or the only one I bought, um, panel porter by the brand Masterpiece. So this is, these are cool because you can get them custom sizes. So you buy whatever sides you need. So I got, uh, this is for 11 by 14 and two panels fit into it. And one of the drawbacks is, is that it only fits panels that are one eighth inch thick which is fine if you're buying them from the art store panels like that, but I've now been making my own panels and it seems better to, I've been liking the panels that are a fourth inch thick, so they just don't fit in this. So they have screws and it comes with um, four of them, but you, I've only got them in two sides because it's there it's pretty tight how this is so the the sides aren't gonna fall off I've been using when I've taken it out I've been using these claps clasps so I don't have to take a screwdriver out or anything so I just stick this through and bend it like that and that keeps it uh, the side on properly but another reason why I don't like this is because once you get one side off There's nothing that is stopping the edges from going like this. So if I do have a panel in it, and if I'm taking the top off to 
slide another panel into it, these sides could open and if it was a wet, one wet painting that I had already done, it could fall and get ruined while I'm trying to put the other one in. So yeah, it's, I mean, it does its job, but I feel like there's a lot of room for error with this, so I don't prefer this so much. So I made my own and I designed it off of that, but made it the, the ways that I don't like it, I changed that. So this also carries two panels and I have these um, brackets, I don't know what they're called, they're, I bought them off of Amazon, it's the, the backing that of a picture frame to hold the board in place. So I don't need a screwdriver or anything. Move them to the side and then it just pops out nice and easy. And I probably don't need four all the way around. That's probably me being super cautious. Probably just need two. But so I have the frame and it's all fixed so it's not gonna not gonna move. And then I had nailed in a thinner piece of wood so that keeps the the panels from not touching each other. It's really easy to make. I bought two pieces of wood from Home Depot. So there's a bigger piece of wood and then a smaller piece of wood. This one is fourth an inch thick that I took wood glue and I glued it along the middle. And then to just make sure that it's all extra secure, I then um, nailed in the wood just to be extra safe made 45 degree angle cuts to make the frame, staple them together, and then did corner brackets to secure it. And then on each side, I have the picture frame, bracket, whatever it's called, just to keep it secure. And same exact thing with the four by six, just using two of these on each side instead of four. So like I said, that sand got onto that one painting, which is a bummer, but I'll fix it. And so I had one painting out that I was working on on my easel. And then I had, if this was a wet painting on there, and then it was, um, face up and then sand blew onto it. So when I go out, uh, plein air painting again. I'm just going to take instead of having two panels which keep it nice and protected but when I'm working on one so one's on the easel I'm just going to take three with me so then I can have one spare one just to protect the wet one so no like dirt sand or grass or whatever gets on the painting because I've had ha I've had had that happen a few times and I'll kind of like pick out the pieces um, but then this will just save me that time just making sure that I have a, a spare one with me. So I like these. They're super easy to make, very customizable because you're making it yourself. So when I'm making any different sizes, I can make another wet panel carrier. And I've been really liking making my own panels a lot. Getting wood, cutting it to the size that I want. I seal the wood and then do a lot of layers of gesso and sanding and I like customizing it, having some of the gesso on some of them be rougher, some smoother, some I like having the the, the edges be rougher and then the the main part of the the bulk of it, like the middle part of it being extra smooth but keeping that outside rough. I think that looks cool texture wise when you're putting paint on and the paint catches in the texture around the um, around the edges so you kind of get a well you do get a vignette then of texture rather than a darker value and I guess we'll see if I make any changes to this the this one fits in my backpack because it's super small the 11 by 14 one doesn't fit in my backpack I might put a handle on it if I want just to make it easier to carry I know one of my friends that goes out plein air painting he uses I think it's called panel pack and he likes it and it seems really it's pretty much the basic idea of what I built um, except for instead of using these clasps it's a rubber band that goes around it and then I know someone else that uses I think the brand is called Raymar I think 
and I'm pretty sure that those hold more than two wet paintings. So there's definitely a lot of options out there and as I keep doing this more each week, this plein air painting, I'll figure out more materials and just try and get more efficient with how I'm packing stuff and carrying stuff because I'm finding that that's, that's the, the key just to make everything as easy as possible because it's definitely dif more difficult going out there than um, you're taking your studio supplies with you than rather than having everything all set up so I'm still finding ways to make it as easy and efficient as possible.